gorgeous morning. Yeah, the West Coast weather in Nanaimo is so wet or sunny. Let's tip this real quick. Look, there's a new apple. That's cool. Mom, this this plant doesn't look very happy. Oh. I wonder what's wrong with it? What does the soil look like? It looks really dark. What does it feel like? Wet. Yeah? Anna, what what color is the plant? It's like purple. Hmm, yeah. And it's like yellow on the edges. It looks hmm. not as healthy as the other tomatoes. Yeah. Oh, and, and what did I definitely see a size difference. Yeah, mm -hmm. this one's really small. Yeah. And that one has much more leaves. Yeah, it stopped growing. Mm -hmm. hmm. What do you think might be wrong with it? It has too much water. Yeah, I guess the rain and sitting in this tray. Do you think we can fix it, Anna? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, let's try. When you go swimming, what is it that you can't do underwater? You can't breathe. Yeah, you can't breathe. So that means that you can't get any oxygen. And this plant sitting in a puddle of water, its roots couldn't get any oxygen, so it was drowning. So what we want to do is we want to make sure that we replant this pot so that the roots can get oxygen again. So we need to make sure we have a good pot that has lots of holes. Anna, do you think it looks like it would drain well? Yep, there is seven, which yep. gives you like great amount for like oxygen to come in. Good, so it will drain really good. Yes. Awesome. And what about the soil? Do you think the soil is going to drain really well? Yeah. Yeah. Um. We made this nice potting mix. So this is a really good drainage soil. So let's have a look here. How do these roots look? Do they There's look? Not very many. Yeah. And it's do they look? They look really wet and like they're separating. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And do they look really nice and bright white? No. No. Do they have like little tiny hairs on them? Not really. No? No, it looks like they've all died. Roots are usually white or beige colored with very thin extra strings called root hairs. The root hairs are white and extra fine. These root hairs are, have an important role. They connect the plant to the soil, which helps bring water and nutrients into the plant. When a plant is overwatered, the root hairs die and the roots will turn dark brown. Without root hairs, they have less straws to absorb nutrients, so become weak. This means they are more likely to become diseased, get root rot, or attract destructive fungi. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Little well, let's um, use our really well um, good drainage pot. Do you want to put some soil in there? Do you want to dump the soil in? One more? I'd say two more. more. Good. Okay. Wait. Put a little more. There. Josie, do you want to dig a hole in there? Okay. Anna, do you want to put the plant in? Poor plant. And we would also trim off any dead um, leaves but it hasn't quite gotten to that point yet, which is really good. Nothing's actually dead. I think we're saving it just in time. But then that way, why do you think you would want to um, trim off all the dead leaves, Anna? So they don't crisp, and then they will, and then they fall. So there will be all, so there will be less. That's a good guess. Yeah. What do you think, Josie? Why do you think you would want to trim off all the dead parts of the plant? Because when you cut them off, new leaves will grow and then more um, 
of the plant will be there. And like, since this is a tomato plant, there'll be more tomatoes. Yeah. Clay soil has small, fine particles, which is why it retains the most amount of water. This also causes an inability for proper drainage. Sand, with its larger particles and low nutritional content, retains the least amount of water. Although it is easily replenished with water, it cannot hold onto it and plants dry out quickly. This is good for cacti in the desert. Silts with medium-sized particles retain a moderate amount of water, but still isn't ideal for plants. Loam is a mix of all of these together. This is an ideal soil for plants for its nutrients, value, and ability to retaining water with proper drainage for the plant. Hey everybody, today I'm going to be making soil. So, I'm going to be using peat. And I'm taking one big scoop of all this stuff. And this is perlite. Oops, I need a half. Is that half? That's great. I pour it in. Yeah. And half of sand. And you also put this in your soil, your potting soil. And two of these. This is compost from our compost bin. So you need a lot of this compost because there's some good stuff and nutrients in this. Like I see some hay. There's probably a lot of poop in this, so that's great. It's also pretty healthy for you. But don't eat it. Don't eat it. Okay. It's great. It's pretty satisfying. Okay, so make sure that you tell everybody this. This is warm poo. Yes. See that stuff in there. Let's mix this disgusting mix. It smells disgusting. And now this is all mixed and it looks like soil. So we're gonna use this for our potting stuff. Oh, good job, Anna. So now that you know how to make your own potting mix at home, it's a really great way to add extra drainage to your plants and it's really affordable and it's super easy to do. So I'm gonna go take this plant up and let it rest and to get better. Okay. Okay. First we should clean up our mess, Anna. Really? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Good job guys, thanks.